and hey everybody, welcome back to KidZone TV. What are you doing? I'm getting ready for our game. What game? I thought we were playing hide and go seek. Well, I'm still ready. This is my get ready position. This is your I'm ready to hide? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, it yeah. seems like you're ready for a rematch. And I don't, I, listen, if you were with us for any of the Wednesday nights during KidZone Connect, you saw one of the greatest showdowns ever. And if you missed it, should I, can I fill them in on what happened? Oh, sure. It was incredible. We played tic-tac-toe. Um, well, tell them what happened after that. Uh, so it turns out... Tell I, them what happened. It turns out... Tell them what happened. I, I'm sorry. Tell them what happened. I'm not very good at tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Guys, I tried really hard, but I got nervous. And I didn't win. You got any nervous? Yeah, I guess. I mean, that was in front of kids and I got nervous. In front... Yeah. You guys make Pastor Sam very, very nervous. Dude, who's ever gotten nervous but standing in front of you? make Pastor Colin before. win some games. Oh, goodness. All well. right. You ready to actually try to see if you can, like, win something? Yeah, I think I think I can I think myself. I think if we do a best out of five, it'll be a very fun three games for me. Okay. 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 I, I'm ready. You I know really what? I'm am. Gonna let you, I'm going to let you go first on this. Okay. okay. Do you want, are, are you X's? Can I be the X? Yeah. You, you seem ready. You yes. seem ready. You pick wherever you want right. to go. All right. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to. I'm gonna win this time. She's gonna win. I, I am. I don't. I don't I've been know. practicing. Really? Let's no. Let's see based off your but. next move. Oh, maybe maybe you have been practicing. I'm not sure. <laughs> She's so nervous already. It, it, there's not that many choices, I but it, it makes it more intense. I feel like you're. It's like in your head even more now. All right, now go for it. Oh, I'm so proud of you. So proud. So proud. <laughs> It's still hard. What if nobody wins? <laughs> you could have just had it. No! It right there. You could have had it. Okay, okay. You I'm having could flashbacks. Have I'm had having it. Flashbacks. It was over right there. Oh my goodness. No, no. Take the last spot. It's all for you. It's a tie game. Okay, okay. This time I get to go first. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's just you that makes me nervous. I make because, you nervous? Because tic-tac-toe Because of my mad tic-tac-toe skills. Yeah, yes! I mean... Okay. Me and my brother used to play this all the time. I also didn't realize there was a strategy. We used to have this little set that we would play, and it was like mooses, sorry, moose and, and trees um, oh. after you. Okay, all right. After you. Okay, we'll just Please. go there. Looks more like a cross. Jesus, help me. Help me win, because <laughs> I'm nervous. I think it's just, there's too many things to keep track of. I don't know, it's okay. And so I... Everybody at home already knows I won this right here. See, I can go here or here. I just don't know which one I want to pick. I want to go this one. There we go. Ha ha. Okay, all right. All right, so we've got one tie and... I challenge you guys to play this at home with someone in your family. And you see how tricky it is. There, it's, it's harder than it looks. It's very hard. Yeah, I can't is. always get the circles though. I right. actually... I actually thought that there was no strategy to this at all. And then I asked a bunch of you guys what the strategy is, and they what, all yeah, had some Well, thoughts. we did that on that Wednesday night, though. They all immediately, every single move, like, they were like, go, Sarah. No, Sarah. It was, okay, it was this, this is back to you. This is back to you. All right, all right, here Do we go. Do you know what the strategy is now? Um... You've had you've had months. I thought it had something you to do with the corners. You have had months. But it's it's also like you have to be thinking about making your own row, and you also have to block, and that's where I get confused. Uh, how do I feel like? I'm you're serious. You're probably great at chess, and then not this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Way to go. Way too good. The girl. first one. Wow, wow. You guys just, I'm so happy we I'm filmed learning. this. So there's like history now. Yeah. I don't know what they're teaching. What, what number are we on here? Okay, so this is our fourth game. Okay. Okay. We have one tie. So if we're going by baseball rules, if I win, it's over. Okay. Okay. She just agreed to those I terms. I don't know. You don't know? Or you don't want to know? Wow. I don't know how, like, you're always- What? No! What in- What was that? What was I was that? I was thinking about the quarter. What was that? I wanted to you all saw it. You all saw it. What was that? I promise you it's what not What was purpose. that? 
Okay. I literally, I was like, you know what? We could play this game because it's going to be so much fun seeing you like a freaking, like, you're going to be like, you know, like, no, okay, let me just, no, 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 don't you even try. Don't you even try. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you so much for joining us today on Kids Own TV. It's going to be great. Okay, we're ready for our next Bible verse of the month. And today we're gonna to say this in two really fun ways. So the first thing we're gonna do is something called the sing a verse. So you're gonna repeat this after me and singing the verse as we go. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very Large. Luke 16, 10. Very good job. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is act out the Bible verse. Here we go. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little, then you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke 16, 10. Great job. From chains you broke me free. Now you're alive in me. I put you in control. Now I know who's I am. No more comparison. I'm certain in my soul. I'm part of your plan, my life's in your hands You're the reason that my heart can sing No longer my own, you sit at the throne You are ruler over everything I want less of me, so you would increase Make me like your son
trust him and during difficult times when things are scary, you might be afraid, you can always go to God and know that everything is in his hands. Let's sing this to trust him. Thank you, Jesus. Of all the things that I could do for you And all the things that I could say Nothing is better, Lord So simply obey Come on, you sing the many things The many things that I could be for you The many things that I could pray Jesus, I'll trust in you and Do what you say I want you to imagine something. You've woken up, you see snow everywhere, outside every window, to the point that you don't want to open up the window because snow would come in and then you'd be like, oh my goodness, I've got snow in my room. And it's Okay, okay, but you need to get out of your house. You need to go somewhere, you've got school. Maybe you're in fifth grade and you have a job. We'll have a talk later. Listen, you have places you need to go, things that need to get done. What do you do? 
easy. You take your shovel, you go outside, you say, this is my driveway and I'm taking it back from the snow. So what do you do? You start working hard. You're not just gonna try to maybe take out some of it because listen, if you've only taken out some of the snow before, you know whenever you go outside and you go on that driveway, that sidewalk, that anything, it's not a driveway anymore, it's a slip and slide. You're sliding your whole way down. How do you prevent that? You work hard, but Working hard is not just for your driveway. It's not just for some of the things that you need to do to get work done. It matters to God. So let's check out why working hard matters a ton to God. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Everywhere Jesus went, large crowds followed him. Some really wanted to learn and change. Some were just curious. Others, like the religious leaders, listened to Jesus' words so they could trap him with tricky questions. But there were some people who just wanted Jesus to back them up, to tell them that their way was the right way. One of these was a man, we'll call him Ezra. Teacher, hey, teacher. Ezra's demand was loud enough that everyone stopped talking to look at him. Uh, are you gonna let me through or what? Ezra shoved through the crowd, dragging another man behind him, his brother. Teacher, you've got to tell my brother here that he has to divide the family property with me. Ezra's brother looked like he wanted to sink straight into the ground. Jesus turned to Ezra. Friend, who made me judge or umpire between you? People listen to you. I thought you could, you know, just settle this. Tell my brother I'm right. Watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. That is not what I asked. Jesus didn't argue with the man. Instead, he told a story, a parable. If he had told this story today, it might sound just a little something like this. There once was a rich man whose field grew a fantastic crop of grain. Perhaps it was corn. His manager brought him the good news. Sir, we're set to bring in a bumper harvest of cobs and kernels. Yes, go me. Oh, well, your employees did an excellent job of preparing the fields. Go me. And there was a lot of sunshine. Go me. And just the right amount of rain. Go me. Uh, yes, go you. Harvest the crop at once. Oh, well, we're working on that. There's uh, just a, a little problem. Problem? Who messed up? Fire them at once! Oh, no, 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 it's a good problem. You, you don't have enough barn space to store all your grain. Huh. huh. I'm just too successful. Go me. Well, I was thinking you could share some of the grain. Share it? Well, yes. Some extra bushels for your employees, maybe give some of it away, popcorn for all the kids in town, hold a cornbread festival for everyone. But, uh, but it's all mine. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. I know. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I can store up all the extra grain for myself. Oh. See to it. I want those new barns up by the time the corn harvest is in. <sighs> yes, sir. The old barns were torn down and brand new bigger barns were built. Perfection. Is the corn harvest complete? Yes, sir. All finished. Excellent. Have the men store it all in these new barns immediately. But, but they're so tired. I said immediately. <sighs> yes, sir. At last, the rich man's entire corn crop was stored in his shiny new barns. He settled back in a comfy deck chair and surveyed his property as the sun set. Go me! Self, you've done pretty well for yourself. You got grain stored away for a lot of years to come. He popped a gourmet corn chip into his mouth. Self, take it easy. Eat, drink, and live it up. You foolish man. The rich man nearly choked on his chip. <coughs> Excuse me? The rich man looked around, but he 
could see no one. He was entirely alone. Oh, great. Is this supposed to be some God moment where I discover what I've been doing wrong? <laughs> That's exactly what it was. You foolish man. Tonight I will take your life away from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? Uh, could we come up with a different ending to this story? But there was no way out for the rich man. He had chosen to focus only on what he could keep for himself. Jesus wrapped up his parable by explaining. That is how it will be for whoever stores things away for themselves, but is not rich in the sight of God. We don't know how Ezra responded, but maybe, just maybe, he started worrying less about getting more of his family's stuff. Maybe he started to care a little more about sharing what he did have with his brother. <laughs>